It was all a dream and a scene, making me. Then I came along and changed everything. From cyphers to diapers. Green jiggly beans. But the grind don't stop. We just got a bigger team. Called the weight to the top. Mom, what does that mean? The time is now or never. We, we are dream team. team. <laughs> How are we going to get paid for this? What's up guys? It's your girl Lyric Kane, aka Nini, aka whatever it is that you want to call me. Back with yet another reaction video as requested in the comment section underneath one of my other videos. Today I'm going to be reacting to, um, this is Hobson Lunchtime Cypher featuring Passionate, Passionate, Passionate MC and G Moski. You already know the original Video link will be in the description box down below, as well as all of my social media links. Make sure that you follow us on IG, best friends since birth. Also, check out my music page on IG, Lyric Kane Official. Also in the description box down below, you'll be able to find my other YouTube channel. Make sure that you head over there and check out my music. If you like what you hear, then go ahead and give the videos a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on all of my latest music videos, original songs, cover songs, remakes, remixes, challenges, and live performances. And with that being said, put the damn headphones on, right? All right, I have my pen and my paper. Let me get some volume on this mofo. And yeah, I'll see what Hop got for us. Yo, man, let's take the shit back to fucking high school lunchtime ciphers. A motherfucker okay. beatboxing and kicking ill ass flows in the fucking cafeteria. Hey. Fuck all that Hollywood shit. Let's fucking rap, man. Yeah, check it. This that high school lunchtime cipher. I might just step in this bitch and fuck your life up. I hope the principal doesn't come and give me a write up. Now, who the fuck I gotta snatch the mic from? I spent a long time trying to build the buzz. Okay. I was in the building, cuz step to me upon this battlefield. You know I will erupt. Didn't change. Get you capped in America like Marvel Comics. 
with a strap like star guitarist. When instead of mine, see a head in time like Nostradamus. Or swift jabs that sway left like Crip flags. Or be the reason you break necks like whiplash. So who uh. the fuck want war with this? Distorted thoughts, smoke this all to the sport. I guess when he pulls his fist around the swords, he lifts with the force of a horse's kick. Most of the people exist and make stories, bitch. A horror flick like imagery. Focus everywhere. You would swear with soft restraining a symphony. It's passion. Force within him. So that's passion right there. This the high school lunchtime cipher. I might just step in this bitch and fuck your life up. Fuck the principal, he can give me a fucking write up. I love it, man. Don't get the shit confused. You're not a person, you're delicious food. No matter your race, birth, place, or religious views. All you niggas getting chewed. I'll eat a rapper, fitted cap first, and then I spit out his tennis shoes. Missing rules in my top. I don't have the patience. I grab the chop and leave you niggas eradicated. Never let the doctor give me shots. I'm on and I got small pops, you can have a blanket. Get assassinated and left with broken bones. If you gotta travel through the woods, don't go alone. I'm fucking bitches in a mobile home. Like the mutated nigga from Hills have eyes with no Trojan on. It's paranormal with the dagger. I got paranormal tendencies. Y'all just a paranormal rappers. So why you talking like you not defenseless? I'll punch you ten times in the mouth and have your pussy ass hopping fences. I got suspended for a few weeks in eighth grade when the principal caught me on the street trying to spray paint. I bought a dozen eggs. Safeway and threw him at that motherfucker's house the same day. You can get it the same <laughs> way. I'm making bitch niggas walk the plank. And crocodile infested water mixed with toxic waste. Bury you alive with a camera strapped across your face. Then come back two weeks later and watch the tape. You cried like a bitch trying to make the coffin break. You died like a bitch instead of trying to concentrate. I'm here to depopulate on the red carpet with a sniper rifle. Taking out any nigga you nominate. So you me as soon as you turn the news on. Chances are I laid a nigga down like a futon. Why you at home <laughs> dealing with groceries and coupons? I got your bitch tossing my salad. Pass the crouton. This the high school lunch. Wow. Just step in this bitch and fuck your life up. I hope the principal doesn't come and give me your write up. Now who the fuck I gotta snatch the mic from? Yeah. I'm right there. Took it back to fucking lunch this time with right this motherfucking son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Funk ball, you. Yeah. That right there was definitely dope. Definitely refreshing. Um, taking it back to the roots, you know what I mean? That's where most rappers um started just back in the day, like spitting them with your friends and stuff like that. Definitely was loving it from the ad libs in the background to the O's and the A <laughs> from like the crowd. Love the beatboxing sound effect the beat you had going on there. I wonder if that was a beat that was like generated digitally on like a keyboard or if somebody was like really in there beatboxing. They was getting it though. Definitely set the tone and the vibe. Y'all already know Hop came in and killed it. He murdered it per usual. This dude is just brutally honest. He literally, I feel like this cat would literally say anything that comes to his comes to his mind he's one of those people that my mom always say like you don't think before you speak i want to say he's literally one of those and he don't give a fuck about it like i love that about him um second verse wasn't really sure at first and towards the end i realized that was passionate passionate was definitely up in there dropping some bars that y'all kept did y'all wait on hot did y'all catch that little wang this Somebody told me in one of my other um, Hobson reviews that he doesn't like Lil Wayne. I'm not really sure why or what's the thingy. Maybe because he just feels like he's not real hip-hop. I'm not really sure. But I caught that diss sneak, diss sneak left and right. But with, with Hop, is never a sneak because this nigga's so out for it with it. But um, Passionate. Passionate had a line in it and it said something about paranormal activity. And then he compared them to basically like a pair of, nor don't compare him to a pair of normal ass rappers. Like I thought that right there was definitely dope to play on words. Um, he also said that he can kill somebody with a one line. That's like a stick figure. You know how, you know, stick figure, there's a line. Okay, just saying. Um, G Moski definitely came in and did the, th the damn thing. I feel like everybody had great vibes. I was loving it, bro. Like, I swear. I was like a kid in a candy store with this shit. Taking it back to the roots from where it all began. You already know what it is. Go ahead and get in the comment section down below and let me know what your two cents were. Tons and tons of killer lines up in this track. In everybody's verse, get down in the comment section below and let me know what was the best line to you. What line in particular may have resonated with you or what line that you felt like was just like, Damn, Gina. <laughs> get in the comments and let's chop it up. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. So next time, guys, peace out. I'm out of here.